I want to illustrate uh, how to find, when you're sailing, how to find the optimum VMC, velocity made course, to a known destination when you're sailing downwind. And we're going to just display the meter, VMC. And then we can also hold that down. We can also put a plot of it, which we'll do in a moment. And so we're going to watch that plot. So, uh, and this is a way to practice this with the simulator. So what do I need to do? I guess I'll just turn on the, so I've got the wind loaded. The wind is, is 70, is 070, and it's 10 knots. And so I just turn on the simulator, command S, and uh, let's say simulator's on. Now let's uh, just turn, I'm going to turn around here a little bit and get headed more or less the right direction. Um, and so, and this is a, um, a course predictor that says where I'm going to be in, oh, 44 minutes. That's a weird thing. I'll just, I'll make that, uh, well, I'll say six minutes. Okay. So that's where I'm going to be in six minutes, but that doesn't matter for now. Okay. So here we're going downwind. Now, um, and this is the wind direction here. So if I come all the way around, whoop, I come all the way around to the right, I'm sailing exactly dead downwind. See, now I'm going across the, okay, there's now, okay, there. So there's the arrow, I'm going, to, I'm sailing downwind, right? Dead slow, okay, velocity, where's my velocity? Five knots. Notice there's no current here. This is a current, uh, current speed, there's no current. So SOG and COG, that's the same as my compass heading and my course, and my speed, right there. I have no uh, course to the next mark, I don't have a mark set, so I can't show any of that. So the first thing to do, let's make a mark to navigate to. I'm gonna click this button up here, and then click down here somewhere. Okay, so now I'm going to that mark, and now it has a direction. That's the direction to that mark, 227. And at the moment, I'm making good. My actual boat speed, 5.8. Let me expend, ex extend this just a little bit, just so you can see what's going on. Okay, so there's my position in, um, in 15 minutes out here. So you see, I'm going this way, and the, my speed down in this direction is... Um, I'm going 5.8 this way and only 5.2 down this way. But I want, for our example, I want this to be at 220. So just for the time being, I want to move that till this is 220. Let's see what that is. That's 223, uh, 220. Is that 220? Uh, not quite. Um, let me just go a little bit more. Okay. That's 220. Okay, so there's where I want to go, 220. Now, notice, too, I'm on a scale where this is, what does that say? I think three miles from here to here. That could be 300 miles. It, all of this logic is exactly the same if I'm sailing across a lake or if I'm sailing across the ocean. So, all right, so the idea here, now look what's happened here. We have two little arrows. This is the direction of the wind, but now there's two arrows here. And this is going to be the direction to the mark, this red one. And now this is, we're cheating a little bit here. This, is good. this program is going to always tell me the best way to go, and that's this pink one. And this pink one here is a, is a heading to get the optimum VMC. But we're going to prove that. We're going to prove that uh, with a, by actually steering that course. So let me see what we do at that point here. Let me turn... Um, let me just, uh, let me turn on the graph, let's see. And you do that in this program, just a long press on the one you want to graph, and that's there. And so let me now just, uh, let me now just slowly start turning to the, I want to turn left, so that would be this way. Now this, okay, now uh, as soon as I get to this point, I would be heading right dead downwind, uh, dead downwind right here. This is dead downwind. I mean, not dead downwind, but that was, you see that mark, I was exactly at the 220 going to there. Now, if I go here, what's this here? 135 is, should be the peak. That should have been the peak. All right, and that was the peak right here. And then we're just going on by that like that, okay? So, uh, so here's an actual plot of your velocity made good as a function of your heading. And the one that we want is one right here in the middle. And I can just tell you where that is. I can turn back, I can turn back this direction here and get on that pink dot, pink line. Uh, 
right there, and that should be 135, and well, we figured 8.2, but I must not, you know, the, oh, 8.1. Okay, so there's a little tweaker there, something like that. But that's the way this program, that's, well, any program will do it. Almost all navigation programs will display VMC. As noted in the article, that's a very simple computation. Everybody should do that. But then, then this, then some programs have the nice plots that'll show you that sort of thing to show how broad the curve is. Usually these are fairly broad curves. Uh, points here, depending on the polar. But then this uh, QTVLM and other programs as well, but this one has this nice little pink arrow. You point in the pink direction, you know you're going to maximum optimum VMC. I'll stop there.